so we've got a whirlpool it's one of the older styles with the um, serial number or product number model there we go um, uh, BFG 1F or yeah that might be an E might be BEG probably BEG for beg this thing is gonna work anyway it's an old unit that needs replaced we're gonna try to do a couple things to, to make it last a little longer until it starts leaking typically this is the reset button that you can reset when you're having problems with them if you have it to where it keeps cutting out there's things that you should do so that you can keep these hooked up like clean the arrestor on the bottom um, you can loosen up this so the air can go in that way knock out the glass so air can go in that way uh, but it keeps acting up I think it's the control valve uh, so on this one what I'm just gonna do to try to buy them some time uh, so we don't have to replace the unit is I'm gonna wire these together and more or less what it's gonna do is bypass that uh, or um, limit switch or temperature switch whatever that uh, piece is um, I hope this will work I don't know for sure that it will because it's the control valve that's acting up so we're gonna light this uh, light up now show you here how to light it some of them you don't have to move this most of them you do this one don't really have a spot for pilot lighting but if you can turn it all the way until it stops uh, toward the vacation when it's in the on position you have to press down on this to get that knob to turn otherwise it'll catch right there so you get it to where it says pilot line that up with that little tip press in on the button you've got to hold down on the button to allow the gas to go in there then of course you use your piezo igniter to fire the flame up once the flame fires up you have to typically count to 20 or 30 to get the thermocoupling hot enough to send the milliamp back to the control valve to tell it that it has flame or a fire down there once it does that then it should stay on then you just take your uh, main knob get it to on and then adjust this so that you can fire it up to your designated designated temperature that should be about 120 degrees each letter you go up should be about 10 more degrees uh, so again all we did this time is wire those wires together to bypass that little uh, relay or uh, uh, limit switch or whatever they are.